In our previous video, we saw how to make a layout using Constraint View in Android Studio. In this video, we're going to see how we can take these image buttons that we created earlier and we can make images on them that describe what's going to happen. So take photo, save, and then log in. To do this, we need to get some clip art that we can use. And one really nice thing about Android and Android Studio is that they want to promote learning. So they want to have a consistent look and feel from one app to another. So there's a library of predefined clip art that we can use. Not only can we use it, but we can customize the colors as well. So I right click on Drawable and I choose New Image Asset. Now, careful here, be sure and change this to Action Bar and Tap Icons instead of Launcher Icons. Now for name, I'm going to say I see save because I know we have one that is a save image. I click on the clip, clip art and I'm just going to search for save and sure enough, there we go, there's the floppy disk save image. Now I can also choose a custom theme and in the custom theme, I can choose a custom color. Now you see I could type in up above, I could type in any color like we got from the color wheel. This 13654A is the greenish color that I've seen before. So I'm going to just plug that in. And sure enough, it actually, it's already down here because I've used it before. It's this color green. So I choose uh, next and finish. And we'll give this a few moments because it has to create a few things. And then we'll go ahead and say add to GitHub or add to Git. One nice thing about doing it through here is that through Android Studio is you notice it creates several different resolutions of the same file because it knows in Android that we're likely to use this on several different Android devices. Could be a, a Wear, could be a phone, so on and so forth. So do the same thing except now I'm going to say I see photo and the clip art will change again. We can make it the photo camera just like so. The color is fine. We choose next. And you see now it goes around uh, fairly straightforward, fairly fast. And we choose add. Okay, right click. We need one more. We need a sign in. Now this one's kind of tricky because when I've searched for this, there's nothing that really says sign in or log on. There's not really anything for that. So what I used is I just used a person. There we go. So maybe like a little person outline like this and then next and oh, you know what? I need to change that from IC photo to IC logon. I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw that. So next and finish and we see IC photo, IC save, IC logon. Now let's go back to our, uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's go back to our look and feel and let's click on this very first button, which is the take photo and let's change the source of this now. Now we're going to select IC photo. You see, that's now an option in this little picker that we didn't have before. So we start with the photo for that. For this next one, we change, let's see, this one, I forget, I think this one was uh, save, right? Yeah, save. So we'll go to IC save and we choose OK. That gives us a save icon. And for the final item, it's going to be our logon. So we choose our logon icon and save. And we see it's kind of right sized that button bar a little bit. But you see, now we have three buttons with images that a user could a user could understand regardless of that person's native language. So with this, let's go ahead and save our work. So we save and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to uh, commit and we'll say add images to our layout and we'll do a commit and push and commit and push and push. Up on GitHub, I see that the layout branch has been pushed. It gives me an option to do a compare and pull request. At this point, I'm happy with where the layout is. So we're going to say uh, merge layout into master. There's certainly more that we can do, but we can do that in a different branch. So I'll create my pull request and merge pull request. Confirm merge. Back to Android Studio. We'll check out master. And while we're here, right click. Git, repository, and pull. And just confirm that everything pulled correctly into our master branch. I'm going to go back to our main fragment, and sure enough, everything looks good. So we have added image, we have created images, we've added them to our image buttons, and then we pulled our UI branch back into master, and now we're ready for our next step. Hope this video has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.